Hi everyone, I'm Elisa Lamore and I want to show you my outfit of the day. So to start off, I did my hair in a vintage wet set. Um, I styled it with sponge rollers and I decided to do that because I am on a quest to one, learn how to do vintage hairstyles, and two, how to do hair with no heat. Uh, a few years ago, I had dyed my hair red, and I used to do it in the style of Rita Hayworth, which I loved. But I used to use um, hot tools, not the brand hot tools, but, you know, curling irons and things like that. And I used to have to bleach my hair and dye red on top of it. So my hair really took a beating. So since then, I've really tried to be a lot more gentle with it. And I want to try to learn how to style it with no heat, um, with, I guess, no heat ideas and no heat products. So the sponge roller I use today, and hopefully you can see that it kind of has like a nice little S-curve type shape. I decided to go with a very simple eye and I did a a neutral like um a neutral shadow in the in the crease and pink on the lid and I did a cat eye just a little wing I should say um just a thin one just to make my eyes look a little bit brighter and I did some peach on the cheeks and a pink lip for earrings, I kept it very simple, and I'm just wearing my hoops today. And I'm wearing this vintage-looking ring that I got from Topshop in London. I got that a few years ago. So, you know, you can have any sort of cute little vintage -y type ring there. If you get one at a, like a thrift store, that's even better. And then I'm also wearing a set of gold bangles. So for the outfit, I am wearing a Tucker for Target dress. And my lovely sister bought this for me for my birthday last year, and it's out again. So I wanted to show you how I wear it because this is a standard size item that is being worn on a plus size girl. So you can wear standard size clothing, but it has to be worn in a different way. So um, first of all, not everything is going to fit, you know, like I can't say, oh, you could wear a size two jeans because it doesn't have enough stretch, enough stretch no matter what. But um, things that are loose or billowy or have stretch in it, you can get away with. But it is going to look different, and you are going to have to think about it different from the way the ads show in the catalogs or online. So, um, for example, this is, like I said, a Tucker for Target dress. And what I did is I, I paired it with my green, uh, a green dress, and then... It's open, and depending on your size and shape, you might be able to close it, or it might fit you a little bit differently, um, but you can wear it as a dress topper. What this dress does by adding it as a topper is it makes my simple block green dress into something different. So it allows you to take your basic wardrobe pieces and turn them into something new each time. It's not like, oh, she's wearing her green dress again. Instead, people are noticing that you are wearing your really pretty floral dress. I also topped it with a brown belt. Um, it does button for me, but when I button it, it shows the discrepancy in my shape because I have more of a triangle or a pear shape. So, and that means that I am actually smaller on top, shoulder-wise, to the ratio of the hip area, where if you are, let's say, hourglass, your shoulders and your hips are similar and your stomach is smaller. So I'm kind of in between that. I'm like, I'm like a triangle hourglass. <laughs> and you know what? Everybody is a little mix of everything. Well, some people are. So I just wanted to show you how you could wear this Tucker for Target dress and be a plus size woman. Also, you could wear this with a white shirt underneath and jeans and use it as like a cool topper that way. Um, and depending on your body shape, if you're an inverted triangle, then your hips are probably small enough and you could button it up. So give it a try. I wanted to show you a close up of the dress. The green dress has these like um, lines stitching going across to add like some detail to it. And then this is the Tucker for Target dress close up, just in case you can't get it where you are. This is an extra large, by the way, which I am not <laughs> yet, but maybe one day. 
So I just want to show you here the sleeves, which are really cute. Am I showing you? Oh, psh. hello, let me get my camera. So here are the sleeves. They have this stretchy material. This is very lightweight. I think it's a polyester blend, but it feels really good. The sleeves are really blousey, so as you can see, it'll fit many size arms for an extra large. And then it has these cute little matching buttons on it that say Tucker on it. I don't know if you can see that, but. And then, here is the belt that I chose to wear with it. Just because on me, I need that kind of structure, but on you, you may not. So you may want to play around. Also, you could wear a white dress underneath. You could wear a jean dress. You don't have to wear a dress. You could wear a skirt and a tank top. You could wear shorts and a tank top. You could wear leggings and a top. I mean, there's so many ways you can do this. So don't count yourself out of this Tucker for Target dress. Now for shoes, I'm wearing these sandals again that are at Target currently. Oh my gosh, this is like a Target ad, but they've been really knocking it out of the park for me lately. And these are so comfortable. These are called the Willette, and they are Massimo Supply Company. And I'm going to do a review on these because I love them this much. But honestly, if you're looking for a summer shoe, a wedge that is easy to wear, comfortable, and cute, I urge you to get these. Now, if you don't live in the U.S., I saw that H&M Online has something similar. Um, so if H&M has it, then, you know, Primark or other places will have it. So this is the shoe to get. Oops. Heaps. And I am in love. One last thing, did you know that there is a petition going around started by two plus size bloggers? Um, I don't know their names, so I'm going to find out the information for you. Um, there's a petition going around telling Target that plus size women want to buy the Go International designer lines. And I think right now, I could be wrong because I, I signed it a few weeks ago. There was about 2,000 2, some odd people. So I'm going to put the link in the down bar below. Please sign it if you're interested in having these designers, these international designers, um, have their clothes in a plus size line. I mean, for heaven's sake, at least have them in junior plus size, if not actual the actual plus size line. So I'm going to put all the information below. I think it's a really good cause, and I think we need to start um, having petitions and getting our voices out there that we want the same things that's being made in standard size. We want that for plus size as well. So um, please take a look at the petition. Sign it. I would really appreciate it. And it's very simple to do. And um, yeah, you could read more information about it. So thank you very much and have a good day.